Okay, it'll be a miracle if I get through this. I think I have about 10 to 15 minutes more of recording time before my battery dies. So please forgive me if it does die. I'm trying not to rush through this. Okay, so this one's line 10. Wow, 1420.4057517 megahertz. Hydrogen line leptin star resin identification code EM spectrum. That's the topic of this video and it's part 58 uh, out of 100 videos. It might be more than 100 by this. So the equation for this one is right there. There's your wild signal. And we have 12 divided by 2 equals 6. Okay, so we Google the word si the number 6. Up come 6 types of leptin. The word leptin has come up several times through all these uh, lines. So it's an interesting word. Number 6 is the Roman numeral VI usually stands for the sixth discovered satellite of a planet or a minor planet. Example, example Jupiter 6. Sorry. I keep having trouble breathing. My heat keeps coming on and the dust is getting to me. So on Wikipedia, if you go for number 6, it'll come up. Um, it's the number of points on the Star of David. Uh, the resin identification code used in recycling to identify polystyrene. It's the 6 meter band in amateur radio. Includes the frequencies from 50 to 54 megahertz. I thought that was cool because this is from a radio telescope. A radio signal. And we got SETI. Wow. 1420 megahertz. Hydrogen plus hydrogen plus alien radio signals. I'm being creative here. Okay, so the two different values for its frequency have been given 1420.356 megahertz from J.D. Crows and 1420.4556 mx by J.R. Eyman. It's funny, we only talk about J.R. Eyman and yet J.D. Crows also has something to do with this. So I underlined thus, um, okay, so it is reasoned that hydrogen is the most common element in the universe. It's found at the 420. 1420 and hydrogen resonates at about 1420 megahertz thus extraterrestrials might use that frequency in which to transmit a strong signal so i guess when you're looking for your alien transmissions you should be looking in around the 420